YouTube, welcome back to another banger video. For those of for those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Ashley. My name is Lily. And we got three kids: Elena, Destiny, and Deshawn. And um, and the yeah. point of this video, as you can see by the title, is we are going to talk about some. Annoying questions that lesbians get asked by straight people and some assumptions that straight people have about lesbians and possibly even just other people in the community just that just aren't fully knowledgeable of lesbians relationships because maybe they're not lesbian. Um, they make no sense. So yeah, and when we talk about straight people it's mainly cis men, so straight men. Um, got them in the book here. And so, what we said would be the number one question. Number one most annoying stereotype question. You guys can guess before we actually say it, because she's gonna say it in three seconds. Comment down below, because hey, if you comment down below and you actually get it right, you know the struggle. So, All the right. first question Go. is gonna be who is the man in the relationship? So the honest truth to that answer is there is no damn man. <laughs> that is so annoying. That is the, Isn't it the, the reason answer. why it's a lesbian relationship? Because two it's two women. women. Attraction to same sex women. Two women. Mm -hmm. Hello. I am why are you asking? You why are you asking who is the man in the relationship? There's no man. That's the purpose. That's the reason. That is hello. Like that is annoying. <laughs> It is annoying, and you know you can play it cool to that question for a certain extent. It's annoying, but you try to keep it together. But then it comes to a point. It's like, can you just stop? Can you stop? Yeah. Can you stop? Like we're in the 21st century. Hello. No. It's a cis man, and which means straight, heterosexual. That question can lead to other uncomfortable well, sexual other questions. Qu yeah. Which, which is just annoying, annoying, and this well. is like go yeah. away. Exactly. The point is, there is no man, it's two women that are attracted to women. And that's why the two women are together and not with a man. And that's why they're lesbians. Not bisexual, not questioning, not thinking, not whatever. It's lesbians. Women are attracted yep. to women. Okay. Get together. And the question that follows Next. that. Next. <laughs> the question that follows that is, why do some lesbians like girls who look like boys? Meaning, if they are attracted to someone who looks like a boy from the outside, then why don't they just date a boy or a man? Why are they dating women? And obviously, they look like a freaking boy from the outside the way they dress, perhaps, meaning but, yeah. they're masculine, you know? In that sense, they, they wear men clothing, but underneath the clothes, you still have a body of a woman. You're still a woman. So, still a woman. Still, Doesn't isn't matter. it crazy though that we still at this point like calling like men clothes and women clothes? Have you seen some of the styles of these men, like tight pants and all this stuff? We wear the, we wear their sneakers because now every time that you wanna buy some sneakers, for example, it's like oh, what size are you in men? Yeah. So, I, so let me just start by that saying like it's crazy that we still call it like men men clothing woman clothing okay i understand the sense of like women clothing have crop tops and stuff like that that men is not gonna use but there's some styles that come on it's just use. they're not supposed to use which they use and it's fine so but the like point it, is just because someone dresses a certain way doesn't mean that's the way they identify exactly nor does it mean that the person that they with are with them simply because they dress like that so, in our sense, we both wear women and men clothing. We don't care what department we go to. If we like the style, we like the way it looks, we like the way we it fits, it. we're going to buy it. And yeah. that's both of us. So, if both of us one day perhaps to dress masculine, and then what are two people going to think? No, well, why are you dating each other? Both of you dress, uh, have on manly clothes. Yeah, because that's when another question starts, and it's like, isn't it like studs don't make studs? Because mm -hmm. we're wearing masculine clothes. He's like, listen, you know, shut up. Yeah. Shut but up, not only that, up. not only that, that's a whole different question to yeah. stud the studs will ever date studs because we're not studs mm -hmm. just because we like just because anybody any woman likes men clothing doesn't make them a stud exactly you just like the men clothing and when you like men 
and female clothing and taking out the labels when you just like any type of clothing it doesn't matter who is technically made for society wise it's called andra andragonist yes. it means that you just like any style of clothing any, yeah. and it doesn't define who you are it's how i feel that day today i want to dress loose and comfortable and i like the the, the men clothes that i have more i'm gonna put that on the next day i want to dress dress a little more feminine and put on like tighter fit clothing or something and instead of wearing my sneakers like jordan's throw on some sandals or something i don't know what does that mean does that mean i'm a female one day and the boy the next day no it doesn't exactly <laughs> it means i'm a lesbian that has my own sense of style and that's it so yeah so the point is you can wear anything that you want inside you still a girl so period well said babe Woo! president what is it 2024 yeah. 2024 25 yeah 2024 yeah yeah, yeah. all right all right next you say last question all right so the next question are you are you guys sisters are you guys sisters? Are we sisters? Are we cousins? Are we cousins? Maybe I'm stepsister. I think third cousin from mother's side. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy though, because they still ask this dumb question. First annoying of all, to annoying, us. dumb question. And then it follows by you guys look alike. What the hell? Yeah. Just no. because we have glasses on? We're Spanish to have glasses. And when I used to have my long ponytail like her, no. That, it literally doesn't make us look alike at all. Like, we don't look alike at all. I'm trying to say any Spanish girl with glasses anyway. and a little bit of hair look the same. But yeah, the first first question is exactly that. Are you guys sisters? Oh, no? Cousins? Related? Yeah. No! 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 Not in any fucking way. Thank it you. is it <laughs> is annoying. And it's even uncomfortable. Because it's like, why would you put that in anybody's head? Like, oh, are you guys sisters? We're in a relationship. Yeah, that's disgusting. Like, no. No. I'm not about that incest. Like, sorry. No. Um, Next. The next question is... Wait, wait, I gotta just ask. For anybody out there that's also in a same-sex relationship, do you guys get these similar questions? How do you feel about them? If the comments are on, comment down below, please. And I hope YouTube don't take the comments off of this because I really want some questions below. Some feedback, some comments, please. So the next question is... <coughs> <coughs> next question, guys! So the next question is gonna be... When people... If people see... Um, like us, a same-sex couple walking and we're going out, we have a family day with the kids or with the kids, people find out that we have kids or in general, before they even find out that we're in a relationship, the first question some people go to ask to as soon as they see kids involved is, also, who's the dad? Oh, where's your husband? Blah, blah, blah. And you're like, who the fuck told you I was married to a man? <laughs> Where'd you get that assumption? So you it's see so kids, you fast. see a ring, and you think, man. That's so okay. fast, bro. And I can't even tell you, recently as yes, yesterday, there's someone I was talking about, I was talking about my kids and all this at stuff work. at work, and they're like, oh, okay, so how long have you been with your husband, bro? First of all, I didn't even say I was married. Boom. First of all, that. But, and then second of all, no, and then second of all, who, why would it be with a man? And then as soon as I said, like, if you want to say it like that, it would be wife, but I'm not actually married yet. And they're like, oh, it's a woman? <laughs> Shut no way. up. I Shut never knew up. a woman would be with a woman. It's just, and that, that's when conversations start getting annoying and you just don't want to talk to a person again. Yeah. It's like, bye. Boy, bye. Like, literally. Yeah, it's just so, annoying. Yeah. Yeah, we just, it's automatically, I'm just thinking, like, what made you think I was married to a man? Where, where, why did the word husband even come out your mouth? And even he, even if I wasn't a guy with a man, what made, why would you? Why do people assume that when you have kids you're married? Yeah. So still, why husband? Period. Like, I just don't say it's fucking annoying as shit. I don't get it. And the people that are closest and they understand the dynamics of our, our relationship, they don't cross that boundary. But to strangers, since it's not their business and they ask what kind of questions, simply it's they got two moms. The end. I don't need yeah. to go into depth. And then obviously with you guys, if you've been here since day one, you guys know more. And if you don't, then roast long story short right now. That's me, Desha and Elena from my previous relationship, obviously. And then now we are together with Ashley and Ashley is their stepmom and we've been together for going on five years next month. Really simple, not that dramatic, not that different. Same shit, different life, whatever. Okay, all right. <laughs> and going on a broad, deep level real quick, it, 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 it looks disrespectful and more uncomfortable to those couples that actually do IVF. Yes. So they only have two moms. 
there's no that involved no. there's nothing so there's you can't say right now yes they have they have their dad and their dad is involved in their life and all that stuff but there's there's couples that it's, it's strictly moms mm -hmm. like it's just their moms and then that's it and it makes it really uncomfortable when you go straight up to the person also who's the dad there's no that mm -hmm. so please stop please yeah. stop this is really annoying yeah like we are gonna so. we are planning to have a kid soon ourselves and she's gonna be the one to carry because I said shop's closed. I don't want to carry no more babies unless for some reason that she can't like medically then I guess I will but um besides that she will be the one to carry and at the end of the day when they say like oh to us also um do they all, do all the kids have the same dad like that's gonna be super fucking uncomfortable because why are you asking such a personal question exactly and in that instance it's literally gonna be no dad it's gonna be no third no third parent at Nothing. all it's gonna be literally us that's two it. two moms the end and the kids have no issues with this. They literally are say, yeah, I have two moms. Really no big deal. If the kids don't have a problem with it, we don't well, have a problem with it. Why the was, fuck is it your problem? Exactly. Exactly. Explain. Stop it. Explain. Mind your business. Explain. Mind your business. Explain. Como se dice, Como mind se your business. <laughs> mind your business. <laughs> mind your business. Mind your business. We're going to have to find that song. If not, there's a song right here. I don't singing it. <laughs> All right, next. So, next question would be, would you be with a man if he's hot? I'm not gonna think about that. Psych again. I don't know, does he, does he have a fever? A fever? Like if he's hot, he has a fever? <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys ask lame questions and annoying questions then. You get the lame and get the, You get the, lame, the annoying responses, huh? No, no. We will not we will not be with a man and he's hot no. first of all to to be hot it has to be an attraction to call it hot and still no no period no no and what i'm gonna say it might just sound extra weird again for people who, who personally know us me like my family and close friends that actually watch the videos or whatever i don't have no attraction to men zero zelch like sometimes even show them randomly point out you know like people, everyone can have like yeah, celebrity crushes that. or stuff like that or like oh you like it doesn't mean like gay men can honestly easily be like yo that's a that's a boss ass bitch like she looks so good like she fly you know all that stuff and i don't even say that about anyone like even that celebrities that i had hard questions on like tyrese and nelly those were like my baby daddies in the past <laughs> and now i'm just like they some dope ass people, like personalities stand out and all that still. But I don't find no attraction. Like nothing at all. Nothing. And it's, it's been true. years on years. It's not like, oh my god, random wow. No, no, no. Years on years on years. And yes, I know I've been with men in the past, obviously. Um But again, but if you wanna know more <laughs> if you wanna know more on that deeper level on like me coming out and realizing not only to myself, because that was when I was a young child, but actually realizing when to be myself in society, blah, blah. Just go, like, I think two years back, my coming out video, you can search Emily and Ashley coming out video, whatever, you'll see it, get all the details. Because yeah. I'm not going to go that deep everything. in this one. Yeah, she explains everything. Yeah, but, but yeah, it is true, guys. And yeah. just like she said, like, even sometimes I'm like, oh, like, he kind of, like, he kind of look good. Not that I want to. Huh. That makes it more complicated. Um, but oh, he kind of looks good, and she's like, no. Yeah. Like but it's like whatever. At least she like finds literally that, whatever. Like, oh, like she could still comment on a guy and just be like, which is fine. Yeah. Because like I said, gay men do that for women. Gay women can do that for men as whatever yeah. anybody in the world. But I just simply can't do that. It's it's true, okay. guys. You know why? <laughs> you know, which is why I mean, obviously, we're gonna be together forever. Yeah. But if this relationship ever ended, you're not gonna catch me with a guy. And you're not gonna catch me with a female who categorizes themselves as a strong, hard stud that like not only dresses like a dude, but I mean mannerisms, their mindset, the way they their whole like I don't want anything of that nature. Like I'm not attracted to any of it, not even a little bit. <laughs> that go, is true. Go away. <laughs> so Dang line. I'm good. So don't <laughs> think it's like oh well, one night break up, she's gonna go back to me. At first of all, we're not breaking up. And second of all, like I said, if that ever happened, which it ain't, but if it did, you're not finna catch me with no man, so. And y'all could uh, screen record that part and, and play it back. Play it Never, back. because it's not gonna happen. She ain't gonna be with no one, so. 
He like with me or no one, so you know the drill. Let's zoom in and uh, catch a picture of the most psychopathic person in the world. <laughs> Mock shot. <laughs> she said. <laughs> so if I ever go missing, you know <laughs> who to look for. Who to look for. I'm the more crazy one now, so don't let her get us. I'm crazy. Mind your business. <laughs> so All the right. next question is, who turned you gay? Because I mean, somebody had to turn you gay, right? Like you couldn't just wake up and be like, today's a day. Yeah, you know, last so night, last night, I kind of was attracted to men, but then I turned to my left side. And when I woke up, I'm like, I kind of like booming again. So who turned you gay? I think the way I slept. Except who, not what? Oh, shit. <laughs> you turned me gay. Ooh, sound juicy. Oh, God. Forget about the other stuff. That's not juice, that's just dry shit. Bro. <laughs> and so, you know, it's funny because when she says that, it is like super, it is super actual, like, common for like female friends or females to even use the thing like oh my friend turned me out or like oh I always liked men until I saw this one girl and that was it for me you know which that can also which that can be true in a sense because some people don't fall in love with how the person looks or what they have in their private area they fall in the love with the person their personality and how they treat them so that doesn't mean maybe they're not lesbian, maybe they're not bisexual either, maybe they're questioning or figuring out, like, let me just see what happens. And that is okay, don't let yeah. nobody tell you that's not okay because it is. You don't need to put yourself in a box. I'm queer, I'm a nobody. human, and I like what I like. That's it. You fall in love with what we like. Here we go. So nobody turned me gay, okay? I didn't have a bad relationship that was like, oh my god, I can't, I can't stand these men no more. I'm gonna go be with a woman because because I can't with these men. I'm sorry, that's just, that's just not the way it works. Like, anyone with details, go see my coming out story. Real long story short, I've always been attracted to females. Real long story short, I turned on <laughs> I've always been attracted to females for literally as long as I can remember. Yeah. So I, that's as far back as I can go. As long as I can remember, I've always been attracted to females, period. Um, excuse me. That was crazy, y'all. But the truth is, um, she didn't turn again. Look at that last year. She is yeah. the. <laughs> she is the she is the first the, the first woman I've been with in public in a public relationship and like long term ha. Um, anybody else that I was with female wise was kind of like on the side and hidden and again go back to my coming out story and you'll find out more yeah you're giving too much details babe they gotta go watch the video no, watch the video so they oh, can yeah, she didn't turn me gay but Definitely help me just get out my shell and not be private. Just be anymore. comfortable. Just be who yeah, you are. Exactly. I can watch the video. Dang it! I'm gonna have to put the I'm gonna put the link in the description. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put a card up here somewhere, and you guys can. Just so you can just click it. Click on it. Just it's really interesting. Click on it. It is. A lot of people loved it. Yeah. And I got a lot really of people emotional because it's just real feelings, real emotions. Not it was. It's not a lie. It's not scripted. It's not for the camera. Like this is my life, living for me. Period. Moving on. <laughs> the, um, okay, so now we got some assumptions. Assumptions about lesbians. Number one assumption is you haven't found the right man. Nah, baby, you haven't found the right man. You haven't found the right man. But I'm that guy. Give me a little. Give me five minutes. I got you. You gonna come right back to the I'm, side. I'm the right guy. Right here. I'm the right guy, and you just haven't found it yet. Maybe they didn't treat you right, mm -hmm. or maybe they just didn't, you know, right. Yeah, so it's like, but just, try, just try it. Give me five minutes. That's it. Five minutes, mom, five minutes. Yeah. I promise, you're gonna be right back over here. You're gonna be good. You ain't gonna need none of that. That's fake. I got you. Mm, is it? Mm -hmm. I think the reason why we're not with a man has to do with physicalities. <laughs> so no matter what, five minutes. You still got the same physical body. So, okay, so. Yeah. The point is. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not attracted from the outside with the clothes on. I'm not attracted to you from without your clothes on. Dang. Most of the time, because I'm not attracted to you from the outside, 
even when they even when they talk like there's just no there's an interest in of being your friend like if you're a dope ass person cool personality hold a good conversation oh i'm finna vibe with you i'm finna fuck with you and all that on that friendly level but i'm i'm just not gonna get there like and i guess one of the most annoying parts is when a guy just tries to force to, it yeah to force it yeah yeah they they try to keep to going. force it and even if you actually say it if you just like keep saying it it's like no like i'm not attracted to men physical wise not yeah. attracted from the outside not attracted like you with no clothes on whatever it is they keep hello like there's nothing that you can do there's literally nothing that you can do nothing that you can say to change you can, you can tr <laughs> you can even try to flirt in a more feminine way i don't know how else to explain it but it's like okay you like this from women so let me just try you that way. in a more feminine way and you give that very feminine vibe not to be a stereotype on my end yeah but i'm just gonna assume that you're gay and then i'm gonna vibe with you on that so i'm still like hey okay. we're part of the same community what up like we can go to gay bars together <laughs> and i don't know i'm trying to play with you <laughs> no like the guy at your job yesterday that he told oh, her gosh. oh would she get would she get mad if i give you my number i just want to be friends like just take my number and would you, i just want to talk as friends First of all, you were making the whole conversation uncomfortable to begin it with. It was uncomfortable. You really think you were only trying to be friends? Probably yeah, in the beginning, and then you were going to still try to yeah, throw then he gets jabs and yeah. flirting, which that doesn't mean you're a friend if you're throwing jabs and flirting. Yeah, the okay. assumption is, it must be easier to be with a woman since you are a woman. Must, you took the easy way out. It must be easier to be two, two women together. You guys are the same sex. You guys understand each other more, right? Hell no. It's the same Hell fucking compli no. it's the same complicated Compli So we're back. Sorry guys. <laughs> Our That's SD card ran out of space so we had to throw in a new one. Sorry. Anyway, so we were on the must be easier to be together since you're a woman, yeah. basically. And like we said, hell no. Well like I said hell no. Yeah. And then I say hell no too. Um it's not easier, it's, it's the same complications as like any other relationship. It's not easier or harder, it's literally just the same thing. It's a relationship a relationship no matter who is in it? It's still a relationship. Yeah, it's literally it's a, the same it's thing. Li yeah, it's literally a relationship. You can't make it more complicated or more simple. It's a relationship. Everybody has to. Yeah, there are different personalities. Everybody has their different characters. Everybody has their different ways of thinking, doing anything like that. Men, women, no matter what gender, no gender, doesn't matter. You're a human, and every human is different. And then you're in a relationship, and you gotta adapt, learn all that stuff. Yeah. Say. And no that's matter. our that's our opinion because maybe yeah. another same sex couple might actually agree and be like, yeah, I think it's easier this way, blah blah blah. Like, but in the sense that I can say no, it's it's the same thing. Same, same thing. You're gonna still fight. You're gonna still argue. Like, it's still gonna have the good and bad days. It's still just a relationship. That's it. It's not easier because it's like, oh well, you're a woman, so you should like still know what the other woman wants. No, because and they were still two different people, growing and learning together. Period two different people unless you find somebody identical as you and for you guys who are watching the video and think like and think like it is true like uh comment down below let us like know everybody are, has their own experience yeah either you guys are in the same sex couple and then you feel that it is true that it's easier in any way just comment down below just talk to us and see like how like why do you feel that way or anything like that because of course or everybody has their different opinions if you are um pansexual bisexual or any label you give yourself and you date more than one gender basically yeah then you want to give your perspective below more than welcome we like open conversation like we and the more comments the, the better because we can have a conversation down below we like to reply to you guys yeah. follow us on social media we respond to messages you can add us we'll follow you back blah 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 we so, love yeah. to talk we love to talk yeah all lesbian love baseball or known as softball yeah. all lesbians love love that sport they play it all that good stuff watch it and that is definitely not true. No. In our case, it's two options already right here. She actually does love baseball. I, lo I love baseball. And she loves playing it, watching it, all that good stuff. And I'm the opposite. I actually do not like baseball at all. It's one of my least favorite sports. I don't want to watch it. I don't want to play it. Um, will I go to a baseball game? Yeah, I've been to one in my life. And I will go to one with her one day. Not like I'm going to say, no, I'm not going because I don't like it. No. Then don't go. <laughs> Stay home. I, I will still go to a baseball game like it's not that big of a deal yeah and i prefer baseball over my top least which I, my top least sport which is golf so yeah i will go to a, i will go to a baseball game i don't mind 
and I'll play for fun, like whatever, but it's not something that I would pick on my time, no. Um, and then our last but not least assumption. Say it, babe, say it. You can't be gay and possibly believe in God. Oh my God. Because if you believe in God, God, then you know that you can't be gay. And if you're gay, then you know that you don't believe in God. Because I mean, the two intertwine, right? Right? That's it, like, but right? like, I don't, like, I don't get it. I'm waiting. I don't get it. What'd you mm -hmm. say? Mm hmm? Oh. Excuse me? Oh. <laughs> That's some bull crap. I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's some straight up bull crap. Like, that is so, the that shenanigans. Is, that is so not true. Like, I don't know how, I don't know what, I don't know what else to say to that. It's, but it's just not true. Like, yeah. And don't throw the Bible in this because no. if you're not throwing the Bible in this, I want you to remember every other thing that humans do to sin, right? Because you want to say, if you say, oh, but it says in the Bible, first of all. What else does it say in the Bible? You're not supposed to mark your body, so why do you have two tattoos? You're not supposed to pierce your body, why do you have any piercings? I don't care if it's one, why do you have piercings? You're not supposed don't to live with your partner if you're not married. Exactly, you're not supposed to live with them or do any sexual activity with anyone if you're not married. I would say 95% of the world does that, right? So everybody has their own things. It has don't try don't, to throw don't God pick in and it. choose. Don't no. pick and choose. No. So if you are perfect, if and you don't are go perfect, to the don't go to the club Friday and Saturday night shaking your booty and then praising the Lord Sunday morning acting like you Holy Ghost Jesus, you know number one favorite child and you've done nothing wrong in your whole life. Exactly. Don't do that. Exactly. Don't do that. Worry about yourself. Worry about your sins and what you want to repent for. Being gay is not a sin. Because God says, love thy neighbor how you know how you want to love yourself and all that good stuff and treat other people how you want to be treated and he accepts everyone for how they are period because he made us this way right he made us this way we didn't just wake up and say today is the day that i'm gonna just do some new shit that i feel like doing i'm gonna do it because sarah Dunn block said it was a good day that's not the way it works i'm so sorry I'm so sorry because if that was the case go ahead go find the closest straight man you can find and tell him I know you must be curious. Go be, go be, go be gay. Go be with the, go be with the guy. They're gonna look at you like you crazy and be yeah. like, "I'm not gonna be with no man." What you mean? That's nasty. Da, da, da. Because they straight. They have no attraction. They know from young that they had it's no attraction no, to the same. Yeah. It was for well, the opposite sex. And same thing if you say it to a straight woman. Oh, just go try to be with the woman. You might like it. Just try it. Whatever. That woman's gonna be like. You're out your goddamn mind. That's what you're out of. You're out of your goddamn <laughs> come, mind. Come to me Why do I want to go try to be with a woman? What do I look like? I'm going to go be with this man right here. Because they know <laughs> what they're attracted to. Exactly. Period. That's it. Nobody can't force you to do nothing. nothing. Or change your mind. Yeah. It is okay to be curious and question though. That is okay. There's a huge difference that people don't understand. There's a difference between that. Yeah. So get it together. Don't be ignorant. It's okay if you, lack, if you lack the knowledge, but just go seek it. But don't be ignorant. Being gay has nothing to do with the That's it. <laughs> My president right here. <laughs> Forget every president. Forget it. It's Obama. <laughs> Everybody else. <laughs> I cannot. She makes the list. So yeah. All right, guys. So Those that was the questions. end of our questions and assumptions. Video. The top stereotypes that lesbians and lesbian couples get faced with from way back when till today's date. And let me tell you, there's way stop more. It. There's way more. Oh, the list just goes stop, on. Doesn't stop and then all of a sudden just they come up with new ones and we're like, here we go again. But, and it's all for yep. the fact that society is based on like man and woman, so all these questions That's and gotta stuff. stop. That's gotta stop. Right? Because if you can do a uh, Top, uh, top annoying questions that uh, men and women get asked in relationships. Maybe you want to throw some out there, but I'm pretty sure it ain't a constant thing and it ain't that annoying because what questions when do you, most yeah. people ask since it's considered normal? Exactly. What are people going to ask? You see that you see that people going to ask okay, you where's your husband? Together. People going to ask you where's your husband? Or where's your it's wife? Like automatic. How was that annoying? You're like, oh yeah, either I'm married or I'm not. Yeah. You're not going to find it annoying unless you find it annoying in the sense of why people keep pushing me to get married. Yeah. Then that's different. So that has to stop. Like, that has to stop. And even when it comes to people having kids, like, don't assume 
that they have a mom and a dad period because there's exactly. plenty of single moms and there's plenty of single dads there's two family there's two mom families and two dad families mm -hmm. and then sometimes there's kids that are just being raised by other relatives like grandma aunt cousin then there's uh kids that have been adopted and all that kind of stuff you don't know who they were adopted by who they were fostered by oh what's going on in their life or what's going on in that person's life maybe that person can't truly have kids stop asking ignorant annoying personal questions yes. for being nosy yes unless you truly know that person and they know it's coming out of love that you're just asking a question yeah but don't do it out of being ignorant no but no all right so, guys we hope we gave you some knowledge comment down below again we just like to talk like to debate yeah, throw the like ignorant comments do and questions down there so we don't throw even care throw them in there throw them in there but most importantly because you watched the video you make sure you like the video mm -hmm. you comment down below like we just said mm -hmm. subscribe, subscribe to our channel subscribe press that red bar on the side we're giving you three seconds three two one thank you and then press that bell on the side to get notified every single time we post a new video uh. <laughs> see you guys bye see you guys in the future ah bye <laughs> From New York to Michigan, fun left and shenanigans, genuinely happy as they can be. There could never be an obstacle that couldn't be solvable. Now that's the true bond of family. There's ups and downs, there's smiles and frowns. Nothing's perfect as you can see. But at